Yo, what's up, y'all? What's going on? It's Hocus Four Fifth. Welcome to the channel. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. This is an important interview right here. I got my nigga Kyle Dawson with me. What's good, bro? What's up? What's up? Hocus Four Five. What what's up? What's good with you, man? Listen, if you don't know who Kyle Dawson is, he's he he does many things. You know what I'm saying? Throughout this industry, well connected, manage a lot of artists, but that's not who we're here to talk about today. We're here to talk about rest in peace, the legend, the great Black Rob and. Cal Dawson was um, managing Black Rob before he passed away. Actually, the documentary is out. Yeah, the documentary, it's on uh, Tubi. It's called The Last Days of Black Rob. It popped right up and you exactly, it teaches you step by step, it's gonna show you step by step exactly what Rob was going through, who was there, who wasn't there, you know, all this felonious rumors that was going around. It's gonna clear up and put a lot of, cross a lot of teasers and dot a lot of eyes. Oh yeah, y'all know if I'm involved. Y'all know all the raw shit is coming out. I'm not I'm not taking out nothing. I'm not editing nothing, bro. We're gonna give it to him raw because a lot of fuckery was said and a lot of dirt was thrown on your name too. Like towards the end of his journey. But you the guy who was helping him yeah. with everything. And none of these guys was helping him. So make sure you go to Tubi right now. Just type in Black Rob. You'll see it. The last days of Black Rob. Um, yeah, bro, let's get right into it though, man. Um, rest in peace, Black Rob. He, I seen the I seen the documentary, bro. He was suffering, bro. Yeah, he had he had bad kidneys. You know what I mean? Because um, if you look at the documentary, the rapper Freeway, he had the same issue too. You know what I'm saying? He was on dialysis. So when I started working with Rob, it was like 2020. I knew of him because he's a rapper. You know, I'm from Queens, from Harlem, but you know, I know the music, the label he's under. But I ain't know him personally until 2020. And uh, at that time, he wasn't fucked up yet. You know what I mean? At that time, he was still moving around. He was going dialysis in um, like midtown Manhattan. But, you know, but I wasn't his... Um, this is uh, this is uh, what you call it, it's chaperone, but it started to deteriorate when he came down to Atlanta because he wasn't on the state of Georgia Medicaid. Mm. Let me ask you a question, right? So a lot of people was like, yo, Puff Daddy, you know what I mean? He seen them going through this. This guy made Puff Daddy millions, right? In the Bad Boy record label millions. He probably made millions himself too, right? As an artist. Um, do you feel like personally, because some people feel like, man, Puff, fuck all that other shit. If this guy was part of your label, part of your family, bad boy family, you should have reached out and helped him out. You could have helped save them. Do you think that, like, but some people feel like that's not Puff's job. How do you feel about that? You think that the, the righteous thing would have been for Puff to reach out and help him? Or it's like, you know, Puff, that's really not his job to help anybody just because they were signing his label. I, I, I guess uh, on that note, you know, Puff probably said, this is just business, you know what I mean? He was signed to me, you know, as an artist, and, you know, he, he, he paid for his funeral, but my thing is, like, when the, I'm the one that made the video when he was in the hospital, the day DMX funeral was going on. Rob was trying to discharge himself and go down. I said, Rob, you can't do nothing for DMX. <laughs> like, you fucked up. You got a tube in your back right now. You're trying to discharge. Yeah, you right, cool, Kyle. You right, you right, you right. So, but that being said, like, did he could have, he's not obligated to, but he could have did a little more. You know what I mean, he could have did something for him. He was in a position to. Him. But, not to shoot or nothing, from reliable sources, other artists on the Bad Boy Union tour, and then he found out that he was on Dallas's, he kicked Black Rob off the tour, the Bad Boy Union tour. Oh, wait, wait, that's something a lot of people don't know. Oh, that's a fact. That's a so fact. So, wait, did he found out that? The Bad Boy reunion tour, we remember when that went down. And Diddy found out Black Rob was supposed to perform and he's coming through. Diddy found out he was on dialysis and sick kicked and he kicked him off, off the tour. Kicked him off the tour. And this came from Styles P. Because Styles P was the one that bucked. Like, if Rob not performing, I'm not performing. Then Sheik follow suit, then Kiss, then Little Kim. Then he had no choice but to put Black Rob on the Bad Boy reunion tour. Shout out to my brother Styles P. That's my bro right there, my vegan brother, my plant-based brother. Yo, he a good brother, yeah, man. Yeah, he came. He came, a, he came to the funeral. He did reach out too. That don't surprise me. He a stand-up dude. You know and, what I mean? Uh, yo, he one hundred. Styles he P. Stand up. He one hundred. He reached out. Uh, even when DJ Sophie posted it on his page for me, and you know, Jay called self called me on three way. Was like, yo, hold on, do something for him. You know what I mean? What he need? Who? Jay Z. Oh, Jay Z wanted to do something for him. Right. Okay. So. Okay, I seen in the documentary you you didn't say you didn't you know you didn't put right. your name out there. I was wondering who. Okay. Yeah, it was it was Jay because um, uh, self did an interview with Ten Toes Down. Shout out to Ten Toes Down. I just spoke to him a little while ago. I'm calling him in a minute too to keep it a funky away because the book is some shit that happened at the funeral. Y'all didn't know about either. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I mean, self be posted it because 
I'm cool with DJ Self, you know what I mean? I mean he's come to Cityscape, my man, Big Black, with security over there. So me and Self, you know, had a relationship. So he reposted it on 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 a good note. DJ Self. Right, DJ Self. Yeah. On a good note, he reposted it, and then he called me. I was like, nah, Rob is fucked up. So Jay had called Self, Self called me, he was like, Jay was like, what do you need? He didn't say, I said, yeah, all right. He just said, what do you need? I said, Rob needs his own place. He don't want to go back to New York. He wants to stay in, in Atlanta. And you probably need a vehicle or something to get around then. So Self was like, all right, hold, say, you know, sitting over your, your, your bank information. So you're going to send like 20 bands. And then you're going to, um, that was enough to hold them until you feel like you're going to do something else for them. But that never happened. Some producer dude in California, Mike something, he started a GoFundMe program. Now, if you see it in the documentary, when I'm outside the hotel, I'm beefing with, it was muted, I was beefing with Mark Curry. Rob wasn't even trying to hear that shit. Mark Curry was advocating, but I'm like, yo, why y'all got this GoFundMe shit going? Tell that dude to take that shit down because Hov gonna do something for him. You don't need that. But I take it as Hov seen that and the pockets going on, he backed up the situation. So, with that being said, Mark Curry took it upon himself and had his name on there as a beneficiary. And his name of what? The GoFundMe? GoFundMe. So all the money that was collected from the GoFundMe went to Mark Curry? No, I, I, Mark Curry had his name on it, and then everybody got on Mark Curry. Then the name got switched to Little Rob, okay. Black Rob's son. Beautiful. And that money went to Little Rob. Shout, shout out to Little Rob. Yeah, that's that's how it's supposed to go. I want to shout out. A lot of people talk shit about Jay-Z, but... Nah, shout, Jay shout stepped out to Jay -Z. up. Right. Yeah, that was dope, man. Right. Like, how, you, how Jay-Z call y'all and like, yo, look. Hit himself, yo look what he need. And Puff don't do it. I'm just saying, I'm just asking questions, y'all. I ain't here to Buster you know? Rhymes reached out too. Shout out to Big Buster. Oh, shout out to Buster Rhymes. Buster yeah. Rhymes reached out too. And a lot of other people, it was so much politics, you say, I say shit going on. So a lot of people was like kinda like, you know, I understand people probably backed up like this shit look kinda shady here, shifty. So it was a lot of false uh shit was going on. Like, um, like I said, I was just trying to save the man life. I was mad right, to right. him. For two years, I mean, and I took him to um, actually a year because I met him in August 2020 through um, uh, Robert C. Styles. And uh, I took him the first gig I booked him for was in Detroit, was him and Beans. That's on the documentary too. Big 50 came out. You know, everybody in Detroit was showing Black Love, Black Wild Love out there. You know what I mean? So I, I really don't get this guy, man. Like, I, I don't want to stress Diddy too much, but I just want to ask for the people. Like, Diddy, I guess he's on a high horse. He feel like he don't never have to respond or answer nobody, which is cool, but. Did he? Why? Like, you know, why can somebody like Jay Z? Did business go bad between y'all two before? And even if it did, this is man life on the line at this point. Like, why would you not want to help this man? Like, you know, we look at you. You are a mogul in this business and in hip hop. You know, you on a high pedestal. And you're a billionaire. Like, why would you know? You could have did something and used some connects or something. Even maybe if it's not put up money. Um, you know, a lot of people. It's just a question that people will want to know. Did he? Nah, why? What, like, what you know happened? What I'm that just I, don't make I sense heard to me. Bro. Hob, Hob had reached out to the kid. Wop, right? Wop, Wop was a guy from New York that was down here in Atlanta. And um, they asked, like, where Rob staying at? And Wop told them, well, he's staying in the hotel in, 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 in Buckhead. Who, they said, so who named the hotel room is it? It's in my name, Kyle Dawson name. So they, on the Sean Combs Enterprise, they extended the room for two weeks. But nothing happened but after that. Rob passed away. Did he did pay for the funeral? I guess maybe that's in his contract. Maybe you know, like a lot of the day rules, they got this these, these um, life insurance policies on these artists. Right. A lot of your artists are already so eager to get in the industry and not knowing what your contract be consistent with what the labels is doing. It's a tax write off, man. Yeah, because it's, it's three it's three artists that passed away though, signed to you know what I mean a label. You know, Mo Mo three passed away. Yeah. King Vaughn, Young, Young Dolph, Dolph yeah. they on the same label. Right. Why is that? No, we now nah, we want you to kick that gangster rap shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hopefully you'll get some people somebody in. Oh, that's another rabbit hole. Y'all ain't ready for. <laughs> and, 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 and look what happens to them. That's why they're not here now. Yeah. Yo, it's it's sad though, man. Um, so he was in the hospital. I mean, did he pay? I mean, this is what I don't like though, bro. I'm gonna be real. Some people give people credit for that. When people go to jail, they might send you a little son or help with a lawyer. When people die, they pay for the funeral. Nah, I'm here. Like, why not help me? I don't. I, I never got that, bro. People will not help you while you're here and stomping on the ground. Like, yo, look, I'm here. I need some help, to, you know, to, to save my life, or I need some help to get on so I can feed my family. People just won't do it. I mean, I don't get it though. But so he was in the hotel um, under your name, and did he pay for the hotel?